boxer's voice. You know what time it is. Game over. I'm bringing the belt home. It's done. Izzy Drake couldn't, couldn't make it. YouTube is coffee. Tapping back in with another one, man. Y'all see that clip, man. Uh, fake Drake got his ass whooped boxing. And listen, everyone was talking about how bad that Nina Boy Bosco fight was. Fake Drake M2 Thacker. I don't even know how the fuck you say this guy's name. M2 T-H-A-K, some kind of YouTube internet influencer slash, slash rapper or something to that extent. As y'all can see by the footage, had the worst fight ever. I mean, these guys is falling all over the place. A couple funny parts, you know what I mean? Where when dude got knocked down, they, you know, he kept, he tried to ground and pound him like it was a UFC fight. But uh, ultimately, other than, you know, a couple good laughs or whatever, that was it. This fight sucked. Fake Drake loses. Uh, man, I don't know. You know, the debate now is... Is, uh, is this it for fake Drake? And like, if you ask me, um, I hope so, right? I'm just another schmuck watching vids on the internet and whatnot, coming out here talking my ish, but this dude's uh, pretty lame in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like the other day, there was a clip going around where his girl, uh, who's some OnlyFans star was like, she would smash the real Drake and leave him. It's like, yo, did anyone not already know that? You know what I mean? Like if, if she hopped in some internet relationship with the fake Drake, um, I think we already knew that, period. But all in all, the fight sucked. Um, he was supposed to fight Lamar Odom. Um, reportedly, allegedly, Drake paid Lamar Odom off to not take the fight. Uh, Lamar Odom denies that. You know what I mean? But this dude kept trying to like allude to everyone that him and Drake had some kind of like Drake gave him the co-signer. He was fucking with him. But like, I don't believe that to be true. I don't know. You know, I think he staged that one FaceTime call they had. But there you have it, man. Fake Drake got aired out. The fight was buns. And um, man, a lot of these celebrity fights suck. You know, like back in the day, what was it like Todd Bridges and Vanilla Ice and that or whatever, like. I don't know those fights like maybe because that was kind of somewhat a new concept back but I don't know these fights suck this fight especially sucked and um, I hope that's the end of fake Drake what do y'all think hey, come over now it's over Black. I get to call my boy and be like, hey, come over, now it's over. Right. You know, I get to call my boy and say, hey, Jay in here. Right. I get to call my boy and say, yo, Biggie at the house, we about to jump on the sea deuce. Right. That's what it's all about. And not to disrespect you guys, there wasn't enough money in that for me. Because right. yeah. I went platinum, right? right? I did. So I was like, ooh, I went platinum. And they showed me the check. And I was like, it's some bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm I was like, and then I learned a uh, Bible word, recoup. Mm -hmm. so, like I had to go in my van, I was like, how you gonna charge me for studio and I got my own studio? Oh yeah. no, this ain't right. Yeah. Yeah. So I got a few hundred thousand back, but I was like, so I, I, I really focus on just just going in there and having a good time with my favorite artist. Damn, how about that one, y'all? Shaq went platinum. Y'all remember that? Remember the game? Was that the game Shaq Fool? But um Shaq had a couple bangers. Remember any of his joint with the Foo Snickens? What's up, Doc? Can we rock? I remember later on he had a joint with uh, Peter Guns, Twism for Life. Like I don't know, Shaq's music. Like he 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 had some tracks or whatever. I don't know, but it was what it was. It was a, it was a individual who, you know, was a basketball player that rapped more or less. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it was Buns, but it was what it was. But Shaq said he had to leave the game behind because. There wasn't enough money in it for him. He said, no offense, Nori, but the money wasn't there. The labels want to recoup everything. And all in all, he walked away with a couple hundred thousand. Wow. But uh, got to tap in. You heard him, Nas, Biggie. Um, you know, as a fan of hip hop, it was what it was. He got to rub shoulders with some of the greats. So, I don't know. That's pretty dope. But what do y'all think, man? You guys think he's keeping it a buck? That there just wasn't enough money in it for him? But comment. Let me know what y'all think. You know what I mean? Do you think Shaq's music was trash? I don't think it was totally garbage. But maybe you think it's just as whack as his sneakers. I don't know. <laughs> um, and uh, labels recouping. 
Uh, but Shaq does all kinds of business, man. Uh, you know what I mean? All kinds of endorsement deals, everything. Shaq's everywhere. I'm grateful. I don't like you. I don't like you. What you mean you don't like you? What's wrong? I don't like you. It's too old. What you mean it's too old? It's 2019. It's 2019. I want a 2022. No, 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 no. This is a nice, this is a nice car. Look at this. This is a nice car right here. Got leather seats and everything. some ish right there this ungrateful gold digging ass moth blocker 2019 ain't good enough she wants the 22 right um i don't know guys uh what do you guys think is this a skit or is this a real video you never know right it's the internet what's real what's fake but um whether it's real or not i could see this right is there some individuals out there that this is the way they be moving they just think that they're the ish. They want a ball player or uh, like, you know, a celebrity or a rapper, someone to just buy them the best of everything. He said, you're one of those L.A. girls. Is that is, is that what it's like out there in L.A.? Y'all? Is there is there a certain uh, group of, of females that be moving like this? Y'all let me know. And again, let me know if you think it is real or fake. But hell, uh, 2019 Benz. You're riding pretty clean, if you ask me. All right, guys, moving along. I don't know if you remember seeing there was all this ish going on with Nia Long. She was cheating or something like that, allegedly. I don't know. Who knows, man? But um, Killa Cam on some savagery, I guess, hopped in her DMs. And uh, he posted it for the world to see. He says he hit her a week ago and she ain't hit him back. But he says, hey, stink. I was giving you some time to yourself till I reached out. Your perseverance as a strong black woman through this turbulent time has been something to behold. You shouldn't be taken advantage of and exploited as you did nothing to deserve this, especially all over these sports networks. You're bigger and better than that. Uh, reportedly, it has someone to do with the Celtics organization, I guess. So that's what Killer Cam's referring to about the sports networks picking the story up. Uh, you're bigger and better than that. You're a queen. And by the way, I'm a king. Together, we can achieve greatness. We were both destined for as a couple. Uh, and then he was say una vi, uh, vivre. I, um, my pronunciation might have been off, but he says that means we have one life to live. Part of my French um, as I sit here sipping gazpacho and watching the best man i was inspired to reach out because that's what i am the best man for you hope to hear from you soon mia more or should i say nia more oh he tried to that's a bar right like mia more my love but it's nia so it's nia more cam got some cold game with him right he says i leave you uh with this most difficult thing is the decision to act the rest is merely technical till the next time the sun rises and the moon falls. So very poetic um, DM there from Killer Cam um, hopping in Nia Long's DMs trying to trying to shoot his shot. Man, what do y'all think, man? Is Killer Cam dead serious or what? Cam's a funny dude, man. Last up, man, uh, you know, I like to share the viral videos and everything. Um, there's been a lot of videos of... Uh, amusement park rides lately going viral right sometimes because horrible malfunctions happen 
Um, but that ain't what this is. This is just a crazy ride I saw. And I was looking at this and said, God damn, this gives me motion sickness just watching. I could never ride this thing. Let me know about you. What do you think, man? Like I always share, I don't do rides though. But that concludes this one. This has been another episode of Coffee. Some hip hop news, um, you know, celebrity news and viral videos and all that. Stay tuned for more. Definitely want to hear from, from you in the comments, guys. I'm out of here. Peace.